Hello and welcome. We are Team Roboways 18236 from the Waldorf School of San Diego and we are so excited to show you our robo. The robot is named Donut and yes, a Fruities. This team started out with barely three people at the beginning of the year and that has over 10 full-time members. Thank you so much. To begin with, we have the intake. The intake was one of the first problems that we came by. We had many different prototypes. At the end, we stuck with these. These rubber wheels provide enough flexibility, but also give enough friction and pressure for the donut to be able to pass through. To solve the problem of this donut going in a lot of different places, we added underneath the intake these, and these give the donut a direction to go through so that they don't get stuck under the wheel. Next, we have our elevator system. This elevator system is consisted of two belts and two rollers. One of the first things that we came by was these belts falling off the robot. Sorry, falling off the roller. What we did to solve this is we created custom made 3D printed new rollers. These rollers have a V on it. This keeps the belt on shape and in track. Next, the, these belts and the donut did not have enough friction. This caused the donut to slide downwards. To solve this issue, connected to the crossbars, we have a bar. This bar gives the donut more pressure so it can go up with more ease. This bar also has enough flexibility. This allows limited amount of pressure on this so it doesn't stop completely. Next, we have two servo motors located on the robot. These servo motors go up and down, helping to push the donut upwards. The donut has a tendency to get stuck here, so to solve that, we added one of the rubber wheels, also found on our intake. This rolls at an extremely high speed and helps propel the donut out onto the shooter and out into the goal. A stop, which allows us to get our front main shooter wheels to their full speed bef before, so that these, so that the rings don't go into the shooter before the shooter is at its full speed. Our shooter here consists of two never rest motors that are connected through chains to the wheels. The wheels on our shooter have friction tape to help have proper contact with the rings because through our various prototypes with different motors, different gear ratios, we saw that the wheels that we had on here were the proper size but were too slippery. Next, we also have uh, a liner over here because we, saw to, because we saw that the rings had a tendency to shoot to the right. We found that this was because our shooter was slightly offset and this helped solve the problem. Our robot also has the ability to pick up the wobble wheel. To do this, we have a motor over here through some gears to move the arm up and down. We tested this mechanism with servos, different gear ratios, and we found that this was the most reliable one. From here, in order to pick it up, we have a, gra a claw that comes open and has a curve over here so that the driver doesn't have to be perfectly aligned with the wobble goal, but it will still go in. Once it is in, our claw can close and it goes up and we now have the wobble goal in our possession. In order to release the wobble goal, we open up our claw and we have a bar over here attached to a servo that pushes out the wobble goal so that we are free of it and can lift the arm back up. Those are all of the main mechanisms on our robot. On the programming side of it, we have a camera at the front of our robot to help us with our autonomous. We also have the ability to switch which side of the robot is front and back so that the driver can easily control the robot when they're picking up r rings or when they're shooting. That way they can control it much easier and they don't have to be driving backwards when they want to shoot as an example thank you very much for 
watching this and we are extremely excited for the competition coming up and thank you.